Today we're going to go over reading a grading stake, finding the pins from the surveyors, and setting our forms at the right elevation. So here you can see that's a grading stake. They're going to have markings on them. Whenever the surveyors put one of these stakes in the ground, they're going to also put one of these corresponding pins. The markings on the stakes are based on the height of each of the tops of the pins. So when you read the stake, you're measuring from the top of the pin. What this one says at the top is it's a five foot sidewalk. The F stands for fill. Sometimes it'll say C for cut. And then the plus means the elevation needs to go up 0.84 feet to the top of the walkway. That's what TW stands for, I, I believe. Uh, maybe I'm wrong with what it stands for, but that's what I assume the surveyor means because that's what we're pouring here is a sidewalk. Um, sometimes they have different words that mean the same thing, but uh, so your abbreviations may be slightly different there. For example, they may write TC for top of concrete instead of TW. Now TC could also mean top of curb. Either way, your focus should be on the fill or cut number. The key is understanding that everything is measured in tenths of a foot. And what you're going to do is, that's basically a percentage, right? It's a percentage of a foot. So you take that number and you can see the math here. For this stake, it's fill 0.91. So you're gonna take that 0.91 and you're gonna multiply it by 12 inches. What does that come out to? Well, that's what we're gonna set our string at. And we're gonna tie off our string right there. And then we're gonna go on to the next pin and tie the string right there. And that string is gonna mark the top of our grid. If you got a long straight run, it's probably best to string the two far ends first and then go back and tie down your center pins. So we're gonna set a stake next to each pin and tie a string to it based on the height that that grading stake tells us we need to go up or down from that pin and once we've got a string tied all the way along the sidewalk at the proper heights we know where that string is then we just screw all the boards in and make sure we got nice straight boards you know put as many reinforcements in there as you need until you got your board straight you can set the boards on the other side a third of an inch to 1.2 inches for your cross slope um higher or lower depending on which direction you're going to be sloping it of course in this case it'll be higher we're sloping it in towards our retention pond the plan specifies a 0.5 to a two percent grade as your minimum and maximum and so you're just going to take that 0.5 and multiply it by 60 inches which is five feet to get your minimum which is where i come up with that one third of an inch it's really 0.3 um, and then you're going to get your 1.2 inch maximum slope from same way, you know, take 2% times your five foot or 60 inch sidewalk and you have 1.2 inches. This plan calls for contraction joints every five feet. So if you want, you can take a marker or something and mark the boards every five feet. And as you'll notice, we find it easier to get the gravel in there before we have the second set of boards. So we've already spread and compacted our gravel. Make sure the gravel extends six inches on either side of the forms and you're ready to pour.